Hello guys, um, welcome to Boxing Block Center. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now. Um, Mike Tyson, I am Mike Tyson, uh, aka the baddest man on the planet. You know, I am Mike Tyson in his prime. I think he still holds the record for the youngest ever champion, right? Yeah, he is. But I have to say though, there's people, people might say, yeah, Jake Paul carried Mike Tyson. You know, he didn't want to knock him out. That's a big fat lie. Because, no, that's a lie. Because I saw Jake Paul land vicious right hands, right hooks on Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson were both ball, took those right hands. And I'm looking at the guys that Jake Paul fought, those athletes that, that didn't, that, 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 that were, that went, that were, that basically, we're very active, you know, a few years back. And maybe some of them are not boxers, you know, some of them are MMA fighters, but at least they were active. They are not 58. Yep. Mike Tyson, 58 years old, I, for me, this is a win. And he threw over 97 uh, uh, punches. Like, um, we have to give him credit. Of course, him saying that he still wants to compete is a good thing, but competing against uh, young fighter like that i don't think we want to see it again let him let those old, old guys compete against each other you know, to see who's still got what do you make of this uh fight right here uh Emma, Tom. well to me um ladies and gentlemen <laughs> mike has done what no one expected to do he has lost the fight but it's a win he fought it as we said is going to go he went through it script by script he had a perfect strategy. When was the last? When was his last professional fight? Even though he fought, he he fought um, he fought in twenty. I think he fought twenty twenty one. With um, he fought. Twenty twenty one. I mean, he did well tonight. Mike shows that he's still a champion. An old boxer never die. An old soldier never died. He came in with a strategy. He maintained the strategy. Paul was doing, Jake Paul was doing what any other boxer should do. Run around Mike in the first round. Face two round, get Mike tired, and then start punishing him. But the good thing is, the integrity of Mike is that he was not knocked down, which is, which is good for this, for, for Mike himself, because it would have been so embarrassing. I didn't want, I didn't even want him to take this fight. Because Jake Paul... We might say YouTube boxer and Jet Paul is good. He's stepping up. He's a 27-year-old young man. He's a lion. He's doing very well. He was punching from outside. And you understand that I didn't even expect to see Mike's reflexes move as I saw him move today. I thought his reflexes might be so slow. But he got it. But the only disadvantage with Mike is the age. That's it. He did good. He lost. But he won in the hearts of boxing analysts, in the, in the bo boxing lovers. He won. It's a win for Mike Tyson. Yeah, man. I think for me, it's a win, in my opinion. It's a win. It's a win win situation yes. for Mike Tyson. Because I didn't expect Mike Tyson to last that long. A lot of people, yep. bet, on, a lot of people bet on Mike Tyson to win. Um, because I didn't see that happening because of the age difference but i didn't expect do you know how my testing was slipping jake's punches i don't think did you see that right that's what that's what i'm talking about his reflexes was let, good let's keep it right here let's that. keep it right here we don't see uh we don't see joshua slipping punches like that the way he shoot you know yeah. <laughs> i mean that's why like yes it's true bro like come on i mean all these new heavyweights like wow that doesn't slip punches at all Joshua's defense used to be very good, but I don't know what happened in the war fight. He just laid his chin up there. So I, I still don't know what happened to, to that so, guy so, in that so, fight, man. So uh, it's just weird, man. Like I think when people say the old heavyweights would be the new heavyweights, I didn't I didn't believe it before, you know. But I do believe that in any era, Joshua would have been a menace to any 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 guy. Mm -hmm. Because because of his like his mentality 
And in the hot era, I believe Joshua would have been more dangerous than now because and uh, Joshua, the way they trained then is different, you know, it was different and stuff like that. Man, I don't know, bro. It's just, um, but where does Jeff Ball go from here? Well, uh, Jeff has to step up and then get into a professional ring. I know this is a professional fight, and then fight the real fighters, not fighting someone that fought his last real active fight in two, I think it's 220, I think that was in 2000 five or so his last fight 2005 when he fought kevin mcbridge you know you know my, my, jack should step up fight active boxers fight boxers of your age get the weight bracket you know and stop taking glory from old boxers old fighters who have make a name for themselves and for the nation they come from you know, I understand you started in like a play. It was it was meant to be fun and racing fun, you know. It was meant to be fun. And then at the same time you rent you raise funds. You know, but now you're stepping in. If he box good, he box good, he's young, step into and get the weight class. And then continue from there. At, at the, uh, you know? the belly, I'm seeing a lot of hatred, like Tony has been getting a lot of heat, you know, from uh, Jake Paul fans. But I think some of the things Tony Bellio is saying is, is, is great, is good. I, I would love to see him fight Tony Bellio, bro. <laughs> I respect Tony Bellio, but, you know, I mean, I don't want to see all these fights. So I don't want to so see all men you, get punished. You, you, do you, do you, so you, you think Jake Paul beats Tony Bellio right now? Uh, I mean... These guys are old, bro, man. They are bad. Bro, bro, Tony Bellu is not 58 years old, bro. It, it depends how active Tony Bellu is. Depends how active, you know? So, so if, 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 my, if, if, my, if my Tyson, that last that had his, his last refight in, 20, in 2005, in right? 2005, yeah. Could go eight rounds with, with uh, Jake Paul, whom, like, when was the last? When was uh Tony Bellu's last fight? A few years ago, right? A few years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, about five years now. Not just a few years ago. About five years ago. So it's not really no? much. About well, five, six years. It's not yeah. really much. So, well, for me, you remember when uh um, Ivan Olifit? Yeah. When he got into the ring, you know, challenged himself. Uh, you know that was that was that was so embarrassing, man. That was an old school man. That was an old master. Even the Holyfield, who doesn't know him, man. Holyfield came in from crucial weight, became the champion. Oh, I mean, that was so embarrassing, man. I don't know why he had to do that. You know, I, I that's why I have so much respect for Tyson. Tyson says he's not doing it. To prove to anybody, he's not proving nothing to nobody. He is doing it because he want to do it. And and Jake Paul is still gonna be a little bit shameful that you fought a fifty-year-old man, you couldn't get him out. Jake Paul did everything to get Mike out there. Mike was eating all those kid. He was eating it up. The gene is still right there, you know. Then Jake probably could have done so much by throwing more punches and staying outside. Though he started doing it in, in the third round, when he started sending out the punches, fighting from outside, which is what he could have done right in round one. He could, he could have been doing that, but I respect how he fought by not getting into that whole battle with Mike in round one. He stepped around, be running around the ring. That was okay. The fight strategy that he came in with was good because it would have been very shameful if at the end of the day Mike was able to get him down. It would have been so shameful, man. And maybe that would have gone a long way to discourage him from going forward his career. I mean, he's a young man. I want to see him do good. You know, uh, do I want to see Mike Tyson with Luke and Paul like Luke and Paul wanted to say, yeah, I'll be next. I will do this. Do I want to see that? Look at Paul. <laughs> well, if Mike was and is able to go through Jake Paul 
I don't think Luka Paul would be a problem for Mike because I am looking at that fight coming up. Future. But I would love Mike to retire like an old... I don't want to see lose again in his boxing record. I don't want to see those loses anymore in his boxing record. Bro, Mike Tyson literally yeah. couldn't... He said he had something with, a, with, a, with his ankle or something. Or with his knee. Yeah, because he had a brace on his ankle. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so, yeah. so all yeah, those things and uh, all the bro, I believe even if my Tyson was fit, you know, f was really fit, hundred percent fit, I think he would have won the fight. By not Mike Tyson that fought Mike, Mike that fought Andrew Coletta. You know Andrew Coletta, the tall guy, man. The guy had to run out of the ring and leave Mike alone. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mike? Who doesn't know Mike? Doesn't know Mike. Mike. In Jack Paul's age, wouldn't chew anybody up, you know, for Mike to still be active even at 56 or 58. I only say now 58, almost 60 years. Mike has to be respected, bro. Mike has to be respected, you know. I respect him. Jack Paul might have won, but it's a win for Mike Tyson. <laughs> and it's a win for boxing fan who didn't want Mike Tyson to go down in that yeah. way. Yeah, man. Anyways, uh, the fight was nice. I enjoyed it. Um, of course, some people will, will say, yeah, uh, Mike my, my Tyson should have been there. I like the fact that uh, Jake Paul showed Mike Tyson respect, you know. Beautiful. But, that but, 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 but I think because he saw that he couldn't knock him out. That Let's keep it right here. He tried to knock him out. People are saying, Even well, if he had knocked him out, it would have still be good for him and his career to show respect. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Yeah, I, I know. He but people, are, people are saying that he let him off the hook. Last, I don't think I saw that. How did he let him off the hook? Mike was able to come out of every every strategy Jake was putting him through. Jake was actually scared of going to fight Mike because he was scared Mike might knock him down. He was scared in round one. It was in round three that he started fighting Mike from outside. And he did everything round seven to get him out. But he was still conscious that one shot from Mike, one good shot, shot from Mike could get him down. He was still fighting consciously. He was very conscious, very aware of what Mike can do. You know what I mean? So that was right there was respect he still has for Mike's punching power. You know, Mike, though 58, still has dynamite. So for anybody to say that Jake didn't want to knock Mike down, you know, people will always say, not the fight I watch, because the fight we watch, Jake was out there to destroy Mike. But Mike came with a fighting plan held him up and run around and look at Mike's head movement. Excellent. A 58 year old man moving his head like that. Look at the reflexes. Mike deserves praises. I mean, I, I, you want to hear the truth from me? I didn't think Mike would last up to eighth round. In fact, after eighth round, I was baking. I was saying, I hope in Mike's corner, if Jake started beating him up so bad, I, I, I was like, they should throw in the towel. Throw in the towel and save Mike. But Mike stood, would stood all the bombs Jake brought. He's a king. He's a true king. That's it. Hmm. Anyways, guys, uh, big up each and every one of you for supporting the channel. God bless you all. Stay tuned.